Hello, this is where we will practice Heron's formula. So, in order to practice this, we need a triangle. And for this first practice, we're just going to pretend that we're using an equilateral triangle. Let's just say that's equilateral, even though that looks a bit scalene. And we're going to put each of these lengths as 5. So, our first step is to add all of these up together. And when we do that, we have them first, the first step. Add them together, divide by 2, equals 5 plus 5 plus 5. That looks like 15 to me. All divide by 2. That is 7 and a half. So. Okay. 2. Okay, here we go. We'll have step 2. Area is square root of 7.5 times... Whew, here we go. 7.5 minus 5. Okay, since they're all 5, we can just do it this way. Since in our formula we have times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c. Since that's all the same, since all of these are the same, how about we just put this in the same thing and cube it? So 7.5 minus 5 is 2.5. So we'll do times 2.5 cubed. Okay, well, that looks like we're going to find it. So let's... Um, do that. Sorry to cover this up. Oh, what's this doing in graph mode? Okay. 7.08 square root of 7.5 times 1 point, wait, no, 2.5 squared. Well, I'm not with it today. 2.5 cubed is approximately 10.8, okay. Well, there you go. And approximately, you get 10.825, so 10.83. Okay, there you go. So, that's one practice, but say it's not an equilateral triangle, even, let's face it, that's not equilateral that much, but say it's not a hypothetical equal equilateral triangle. Say it's isosceles. And to do that, we're going to go over here. You can still see through that a bit, so we'll go another page over. Okay, so let's say we have a right triangle. And I'm going to use, I believe, the lowest Pythagorean tr triple here which happens to be 3, 4, 5. So this is a Pythagorean triple, so I know that those will work. And we can find the area of this. I mean, of course, I could do 3 times 4 is 12. Divide that by 2 and get 6. But for all intents and purposes, we're just going to say we don't know how to use that method. So, we'll start over again. S equals 3 plus 4 plus 5 over 2. 7, 12 over 2 equals 6. And then, we have... Really? <laughs> really? It's that simple? Okay, 6 it is. And so then we'll go to 2, and we have area equals root 6 times 6 minus a, we'll call that 3a, 6 minus 3, 3, times 6 minus 4, 2, times 1. Oh, wasn't that factorial? 6 times 3 factorial, that's cool. Um, okay, so we have a equals root, that, we don't even care about that. So we'll have a equals root 6 times 6, which is 36. 
a equals 6. There you go. We have just found out that we've just proven Heron's formula because using the other method, 3 times 4 over 2, which equals 6 as well, because you do the length, the, t the height, times the width, as long as this is at a right angle, this, you divide that by 2, and you will get the area. So, since the area is the same in both equations, we can, unless both of these equations are flawed in the exact same way, the, this Heron's formula must be correct. Thank you for listening, and yes.